Hi guys, welcome to Heavy Metal HQ. Now, I've been a heavy metal fan for the past 20 years. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at my rankings for albums by At The Gates. I'm gonna request that you like the video to help rank it. I'm also gonna ask that you comment because I value feedback. And I'm also gonna ask that you subscribe if you made it to the end of the video and you want more people to watch this. So, with that out of the way, let's get into this. So, number seven, it's Red in the Sky is ours. Now, this album is just riff salad with seasoned violin solos, proggy breaks, and odd guitar symphonies. It's a good album, but its popularity is low because it contains way too many individual moments merged together. Now, I'm all for experimentation, but there's a way to do it. Number six, we have With Fear, I Kiss the Burning Darkness. This album had the potential from Melody of Mastery front and center. The album opener straight away attacks it with a chainsaw like guitar tone from three minutes and a harmonic rhythm of the burning darkness which would also appear on the on the glimpse later store of the soul is just infectious. With fear I kiss the burning darkness just symbolizes the necessary the necessary maturity of the sweet songwriting. Number five we have Slaughter of the Soul. This album is full of rage and passion and is widely considered a palatable masterpiece. From the moment Blinded by Fear crashes through, the, through its machine-like intro and the tirade of high-flying guitars, Slaughter felt like the album Metal History had been building up to. This album contains inspiration taken from Morbid Angel and Iron Maiden, as well as yelling one line from frames that could easily fit on bumper stickers. The album is only 35 minutes, but it boasts the potential to broaden extreme metal's appeal. At number four, we have Tonal Spirit Disease. This album has more of a classical metal feel to it. it it's like the new wave of British heavy metal meets thrash metal. Tonal Spirit Disease felt like the rebirth of At The Gates and upfront yet accessible rages like The Swarm and The Tile Shot made it increasingly raging and yet a promising first impression. Through we have The Nightmare of Being. On this album, the band attempted an, an experimental approach, like on the previous album, The Red in the Sky is Ours, but yet with, at this point with 30 years of experience, the deviations made more sense. The standout track here was Fall Into, the, fall into Time and Cold Salvation and Cosmic, and Cosmic Pessimism. They all seemed well worth the anticipation. Two, we have At War with, with Reality. This album is highly anticipated as an album before it was as an album because it was released 19 years after after Slaughter of the Soul and the return was satisfactory. Musically, this album delved into passages alongside the adrenaline fueled onslaught. Number one, it's To Drink From The Night Itself. This album from start to finish is full of mellow death bangers. The title track is a violently beautiful opener to the album. There you have it guys. Let me know in the comments down below how you'd rank albums by At The Gates. And don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you made it to the end of the video. And I'll see you in the next video.